So in today's video we are going to have a look at my recently upgraded home network, the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hello, this is Amd Gaming Network and welcome to another video. Um, today we are going to be having a look at my recently upgraded home network that I've mainly done because of the new flight simulator. So let's have a look at it. So you, you can currently see this computer screen. This computer isn't actually used as a computer. It's used to um, store my unified controller and also a few network drives. So I'm just going to load up into the Unify controller and then I'm going to log in. So I'm just going to log into the Unify controller. Right, so here is the Unify controller um, dashboard. So as you can see, see. So this is the Unify dashboard and I've currently got a bit of an issue, I've just actually sent off an email to the company I bought um, the equipment from. This is things only four clients, when I created six in total, and I don't know if it's only supposed to show the wireless clients but I thought it would also show wired personally but okay. So as you can see there's currently in total six clients connected. Um, it's shown all the different devices. Um, then devices are, so if I filter them to all, so as you can see we've got a unified security gateway, a unified switch is living room access point and an office access point. Um, I was actually, so actually these access points I've had for quite a while, but um, I was actually today going to be making a video on the switch and the gateway because I've just set them up today but I had a few problems with IP address configurations um, and static IP addresses etc so I thought it was more important that I actually set it up than filmed me setting up so it actually took over four hours so I mean that would have been an interesting video <laughs> um, actually this isn't actually my house um, it's currently for a family member who is into flight simulation and they are going to be getting a new flight simulator so I've done this for them and I'm going to do a similar thing with my house so if you would like to see me do a video let me know in the comments below so I'm going to have a look at statistics and you can see so this is only traffic from today because it's currently just been set up today um, so we've got 211 megabytes of traffic and you can see most of it on this bar here is from the office access point and this bit's from the living room access point um, and if we go back to the dashboard it's actually um, quite interesting and also the phone app is actually um, quite interesting as well so I might if I get the chance overlay now on screen with a screen recording of the Unify app. So, I'll take a look through the settings and sort of the uh, settings I've got set up. So I've got wireless networks. I've got. So for this house, there's two Wi-Fi networks. There's um, the main Wi-Fi network here then also the guest network um, which is on a profile um, which is limited to 5 megabits per second download and 2 megabits per second upload um, 
So if we have a look, so these are the currently the networks that are set up through the Unify Security Gateway. As you can see, there's been no routings or static routes being set up. There's a new beta called Threat Management, which is actually only on this update of um, the Cloud Controller software. Um, with having um, the, the Unify Security Gateway, I have got access to Deep Packet Inspection, which I haven't turned on, but it's currently on, which basically just shows different sites visited on the network, um, that sort of thing. So guest control, if I want to, I can access a guest, I can um, set up a guest portal. So this would be things like when you go to a hotel or a restaurant, and when you connect to their Wi-Fi, you may have to sign a disclaimer, put your phone number in, etc. Profiles, so as you can see, the only one is the Unify Security Gateway. Admins, which I'm going to have to blimp the email address. As you can see, there's only the one admin. And again, that's the user groups, and this is all information for the controller. So here we've got the user interface, which is just preferences like dark mode, and the way you want the date and time. Notifications, we've got different notifications like access point events, you can set what events alert you want, that kind of thing. Remote access, so this is for things if you want to be able to go into the, if you want to be able to access your network away from home, which is actually really good on here. It comes at no extra cost, it, it, it comes with the device, so you aren't having to pay to have cloud access basically. Then we've got maintenance. Which, as you can see, it's just checking firmware updates, etc. Then backups. So at the minute, backups are set to monthly. So as you can see, these are the available backups. And yeah, that is, to be honest, that's pretty much it to be showing you through the what the controller is. And um, I will quickly do a speed test to show you the speed so we'll go to this property uh, the speed that there is is 38 megabits per second download and 10 upload so I'll just quickly start the speed test so as you can see a nice 13 millisecond ping and straight up to 37 megabits per second that's fantastic I mean, this isn't, I'm not saying that this is uh, the fastest speeds you can get, but I mean, when you're paying for 38 and you're getting 37.4, that's actually really good. And the um, Unified Security Gateway has helped make that possible. So yeah, that's it. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to comment. And please like and subscribe and I will be doing more videos on the Microsoft Flight Simulator, more on networking, that kind of thing. So if you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.